Let me clear your space real quick, Leo. Because <laughs> you got a hell of a reading to do today. <laughs> you guys don't typically see me do this, but I actually feel like I need to right now. Smudge that shit. Okay. It's not a bad reading, Leo. It's not a bad reading, but I was kind of getting like heavier vibes from your person. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, Leo. Today we're going to do a reading from now until the end of July. Now, this is a general reading, so it may resonate with you. It may not. If it does, I'll leave a link in the description box below to book a personalized reading this will give you a quick overview of your situation so you can kind of get a better idea of things and how to move forward you can see how your person is viewing the situation their thoughts and feelings about you or towards you at this time but in this reading i'll be looking at the past energy the present energy and the incoming future between you and another person this could be somebody here who you're romantically attracted to, could be in a situationship with them at this current time. This can be somebody from your past who you still feel somewhat unfinished or unresolved-ish with, okay? I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice at the end of the reading, and you'll want to stick with me to the end, Leo. I will be doing a how they're feeling about the situation now versus how they saw things in the past okay so you can kind of get an idea here if things has changed now for those of you who are concerned with the third party situation or about a third party situation you guys really need to pay close attention because the three of swords here kept popping out okay that's kind of why i really wanted to smudge it <laughs> because we don't like third party situationships here Okay, and I feel like in the recent or distant past, Leo, I feel like you got into a fight with your person. And this was because you brought up or they brought up something or someone else. Okay, you could have talked about your ex. You could have talked about their ex. It could have been over someone's ex. It could have been over maybe a friend. Okay, and there were some... Like, what are you doing with that person? Like, what are you talking about? There's that energy here of, okay, then why don't you leave? Why didn't you do something? You know, it was like somebody getting mad at somebody for their reaction or lack of reaction or a lack of response to a situation. That puts you really in your head about it. I feel like, you know, you didn't know how... You didn't know how to address the situation with them anymore besides leave, okay? Leo, I feel like you did your best to try to accommodate to this situation, but you weren't going to continue breaking your back and bending your back to this person for this person. You needed to put your foot down, okay? This was stressful enough as it was, and I don't feel like this was the very first time some things happened between you both, but enough was enough, okay? But that's the funny, interesting thing with the hangman to the star. You guys still decided, you know what? You guys cannot be without each other. You know, deep down, despite it all, everything that was said, even if you two are not together at this time, you still hold a lot of love for this person. You still have love in, the, in your heart for this person. And here's the thing here. I don't know who it is that's feeling a little bit competitive. It could have been you. It could have been them. It could have been the third party. But there is a very competitive vibe in all of this. Like, oh, if they are leveling up, well, I'm going to make sure they see my glow up. <laughs> you know? And I'm not hating on that energy, but I'm just kind of seeing here, you know, well, if they have a partner, if they have a boyfriend, they have a girlfriend now, well, I'm going to date somebody who looks a lot better than that person. But you see how there's that competition. You guys are kind of getting each other's, trying to get each other's attention with what you guys are doing, with what you guys have, and whom you guys are with. Maybe you're entirely single, but you're on that glow up, you know? If they mentioned something to you in the past, and they felt some type of way, you guys had your shared, shared differences, I feel like, you know, you're making sure that you, you, you know, whatever it is that they said, whatever it was that they did or didn't do, that they were gonna regret not having tried harder or tried to make things work with you, okay? If this isn't how you're currently feeling, Leo, this is how your person's feeling about the whole situation. Let's go ahead and take a look at the present moment, okay? 
you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius could have been involved. It could be in your sign, in your natal chart, or in theirs. There's also Cancer Pisces here, and I'm also seeing an Aries Leo Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. It could really be any sign. Okay. Now, here we have, of course, Temperance is coming out. In the present moment, we have the Queen of Swords. And we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so there's this energy right now of somebody here who's not wanting to fold. You know, they're not really wanting to give in to this person so easily, despite somebody really wanting to reach out, really wanting to hear from this person. You know, they can't help it. They feel the Six of Cups. I'm also feeling very nostalgic about this time right now. I don't know if they're seeing reminders, synchronicities. There are things from the universe trying to grab your attention about what this person is thinking and if, they, if you come across their mind. I feel like you guys are both thinking of each other right now or remembering the good times shared. Okay. Remember when you guys didn't have a worry in the world and everything felt so natural. You guys were each other's ride or die, or you guys kind of saw each other as like, you know, the other. You just pretty much like your twin, you know, like your person, your soulmate. But this energy here with the Queen of Swords, she wants that. She really wants that talk to that person. She really wants to say something to her person right now. And this could be your person to you. But he or she is choosing not to speak up okay because of the temperance energy we're going to go ahead and clarify what this person is still upset about because this is needing to moderate and control what it is that you feel and it's almost that feeling here you can't have both the best of both worlds you have to choose one or the other and for some of you you guys may be feeling like well your person is just not choosing you and if they're not choosing you then you're not going to choose them okay so you're ready here just to focus on you and be the queen of swords make a head over heart decision you're not going to allow your feelings here to cloud your judgment though at best sometimes it really makes you wonder here if you should give in to them maybe if you should reach out maybe respond maybe check in on them maybe create some kind of a line of communication here again between you and another person but you know, that door is still kind of left open here. I feel like even though it's shut, it's not locked. Somebody here still has that freedom to come in if they if they so wish. I feel like that's kind of that energy you left for another, or that's how they feel about you here, Leo. This is really getting interesting, okay? But the way they're showing this energy off, and I'm getting this is in the mutual energy between you both right now, is not much is being communicated. The Queen of Swords make these very difficult, challenging, head over heart decisions, you know. She, does, she doesn't let emotions get the best of her. She does things that are quite challenging for her to do every day. She, I mean, you would think she's a cold rock, ice cold bitch, you know, but she's not. You know, she's just, she has reasons. She has her own reasons. She just doesn't talk about it. She doesn't feel like she needs to share it. You know, she needs to do what must get done. And she's not going to rely on other people to take care of her business and do her things for her, do her biddings for her. She's just going to just say it like it is, and this is how it will be. Regardless of the fact she likes the situation or not, this is just how it is. It's pretty much what the Queen of Swords says. But I'm seeing here with the Queen of Swords here with the Six of Cups and the Temperance, she still wishes to fix something with somebody from her past, okay? This is somebody in your life, Leo, okay? That is coming off as someone who is very hard to read. They have no care in the world. They don't miss you. You guys are both on this, like, remember, like I said, a very competitive energy, like, let's see how long we can both ignore each other and pretend like we don't care. I'm kind of getting that, okay? I feel like you may have been upset with your person recently or lately. There is somebody here you're really, you're very suspicious about, okay? I'm really getting that. 
if there's another person in your person's life where they're really wondering or suspecting or really jealous at this time of you and another person. Okay. Now let's see your near future energies here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Devil. And we have Strength. Damn. Oh. And the Nine of Cups. Okay. So someone's going to have to let their guard down. <clears throat> We're going to clarify the energies here. This is you guys are still very attached to each other. But with the Strength card, I'm seeing no one really is fighting to... You know, this is... You guys are still feeling very attached. And still kind of obsessed <laughs> with each other. You're obsessing over maybe their partner, their relationships, obsessed with checking in on them, checking about them, checking in on their lives, seeing what's going on, or they're really obsessing over you. There's a little obsession here, okay? But the strength card is taming that, so that's very interesting with devil and the strength, because those two usually don't come out together. That's like, you know what's we're gonna have to clarify tell me this the devil card please there's a capricorn there's another leo in here there's a nine of pentacles somebody here is stubborn very stubborn about having a certain way okay having something done a certain way having a certain outcome demanding a certain outcome, needing something to happen before something else can occur. Tell me about the devil, please. Okay. Yeah, okay, so there's a little bit of fear here. The Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Emperor, okay. And the Seven of Wands, I'm seeing a fight, an argument here. The Nine of Wands, okay. So, I'm going to clarify some more. The Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the um, Empress, a lot of fire energy. I don't feel like you're going to apologize. I don't feel like you did anything wrong. I feel like here in your actions, you feel justified in your decision making. The Queen of Swords usually is. Okay. Like I told you, she has a reason for doing things the way she's doing, the reason for her being the way she is. And she doesn't need to justify that to anybody. And But when somebody else here brings up something that makes you feel uncomfortable it's like they're still not getting it to you it's like how what is it that you're not getting you know leo you could be finding yourself seeing saying that you know you might be feeling a little bit frustrated with your person for it's like are you just purposely playing dumb or what's going on here you know um because you want somebody to admit something or talk about something or come straight, come direct, come clean about something. And this person's just not doing it. This person's kind of acting as if nothing happened. You know, just kind of just sweep it under the rug. They're not apologizing. They're not <clears throat> talking to you about this whole thing. But both of you guys with the Queen of Swords and the Emperor energy, you guys are being both very stubborn. I'm gonna call you guys out right now, Leo. You're prideful. They miss you. They hope that you break and fold first. They kind of enjoy that you have been trying, that you are, that they are still on your mind in some way, shape, or form, however way they found out about that. Okay. See here with the Ace of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> there's a new, there's a new beginning. There's a new start for the two of you. Okay. It's a green light. Okay, the Ace of Wands is someone having an epiphany here about something. Okay, I don't feel like they realized here. I feel like somebody here was just, you know, just stomping their feet, just angry, just getting mad about something and feeling justified that they were right about it. But then now they're kind of like, oh shit, I was a little bit of an asshole, you know? And this is the card of epiphany here, and this is really clarifying what I was seeing here, Leo. 
If any card says yes, go for it to that crazy idea, it's this one. And that's how your person's feeling about something here. Okay. Because um, <clears throat> I feel like they're wondering here, what, what is it that they're all fired up about? Okay. They have a dream about something. They now want to chase it. Okay, the Ace of Wands is asking this person to dive deeper into the situation. Have they given up on somebody? Have they given up on the idea of something? <clears throat> this is now wanting to dredge them up, you know, the growth. There's been some changes, you know, they, they've grown, they, they, I don't know, somebody here has had an awakening. They kind of grew up a little bit, okay? This is a potential beginning, okay? The, the ones are driven by our passions, our drive, our ambitions, our creativity. It's all about love, the love of life, the love and the desire. I mean, you know, they're, they're feeling, I'm going to tell you guys, they've been thinking about you too. You know, they feel like they got the hots for you here with nine of wands here. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. They missed you. This emperor person. Okay, tell me about the star. Tell me about the hangman. Tell me about this queen of swords, six of cups. We're going to go ahead and end this reading here. I'm going to tell you here from how they saw it before. Um, Leo, they were very stubborn, but the ace of wands definitely concludes that they want to dive deeper into the situation now, you know? They want to they wanna work on this. They feel like there's something now being lit under their butt, and they want to figure out what that thing is, what they've been missing out on, because they haven't really been themselves. The sun, like that. Happiness with the two of you. <clears throat> Your intuition, conflicts, conflicting thoughts, feeling restricted by it the present moment but we have the sun and the nine of cups okay your person right now is coming around and is like i know what it is i have to do i'm gonna have to talk to this person damn it <laughs> you know i feel like right now your person is just like oh i can't run forever i think i know what it is that they want to talk to me about they were right just don't want to admit it i feel kind of at fault for something and i don't want to say it leo if you want to do a personal reading with me check in on your person's energy how they think how they feel about you at this present moment Go ahead and reach out to me. I'm going to do a personal reading for you guys, okay? You can use the lover special for those of you who are new or just wanting a quick overview of the situation for $33.33. The link for you to book is down below. And those of you who are very interested in just getting a full, flat-out, full reading from me or an emergency one, getting your reading back within one to two business days, go ahead and jump on it take on the offer right now as the readings here are piling up okay i'm just gonna let you guys know leo there's somebody here having a change of heart here okay it's all over your reading um i'm going to let me see here i feel like drawing one more card for you to look at what's going on with this emperor okay because your energy you are this the leo here <clears throat> Oh, look at that. I'm telling you, this is the same things that I keep showing. This is the emperor again, the emperor again. Okay, this is your divine masculine. I feel like I'm doing a twin flame soulmate reading. Okay, we have success. We have reunion. Okay. Um, Leah, I'm going to put it, I'm going to keep it there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded for you guys. Thank you guys so much for your time. I hope this video helped. Give me a like, make sure you're subscribed. If you're single, I will be doing single readings coming up soon. And if you're looking for just spirit guided messages, I will be doing those too as well. Bye Leah.